I'm Sue and I'm your garden guru from Garden Shop and today I'm going to show you how to actually shape your trees and make topiary out of them. Now we're going to be doing two specimens here. This one here we're going to cut into a square and then this guy over here we're going to cut into a nice ball. So it's really quite easy. I've got a hedge here or a grass trimmer here. The blades is nice and hard and sharp and I'm going to use that to start off with the top here <coughs> and you'll see you might need a secateur for the thicker branches so I'm going to cut away all the thick branches here then I'm taking my head here. Cutting off the tips here. Now, this is a syzygium. Syzygiums are very good for topiary because they grow quite quickly. They are dense, and the more you cut them, the smaller the leaves will actually become. So, I've sort of gotten my level here now, and we'll tidy this up later. Right, so now I'm going to cut out the thick branches on the side here. with my secateur there's another big one there those should be fine let me just take out the bulk here on this side and yeah on the back side the twigs are quite thin so I'm going to move around to this side here and I think that's most of those big ones done Get my head shear here, here and you can see it's not entirely flat or square so I'm going to cut back on the top here a little bit more second here cut out the deep parts here that and then I'm going to come in with a flat here. Top it. You must remember that we've cut off quite a bit of foliage here at the top, but that should grow back in no time because cutting the plant is actually going to stimulate growth. And now I'm going to cut right down to get our square shape here. Like this. And again, you'll see there's quite a lot of leaves coming off, but those leaves will now grow on this surface here going around the corner like this cutting off all these bits and pieces it's hanging out and you can see there's a lot of twigs there that will now make new leaves as long as you make sure that that surface is nice and flat and then once the leaves start growing back, then you'll be able to trim it easily with the edge here. Now this guy's a bit tough. Taking our secateurs here again. Start out there. And then we finish off on this side here. Cutting it nice and square. The pot is also a bit of a guideline for me. At the top here, we need to take away a bit still. Flatten it out. Get that baby out there. And then I'm just brushing it every so now and then just to make sure that everything that should be cut off is cut off. We're doing this side here bringing it in flat around the corner and you can see already we are defining our square shape here there you go and then back here below this part of it there 
there. There's not much growth at the back here, so I'm just cutting that straight. In this corner out here, just to get a nice surface. Right, so you can see how square shape is basically defined here and now once all of this starts growing back then it will be a lovely little square sitting on top here. Now this baby over here we're going to cut into a round shape so I'm going to start from the middle and go in cutting away all the extra branches here. Now the denser your shrub is that you're cutting, the easier it's going to be for you to actually define those shapes. And as you can see, I'm coming in a bit here. Okay, I'm just cutting out these big branches here at the bottom. Quite a bit of them. And you can see I bundle them up for a bit as well. Makes it easier to define the shape. Sort of like when you're cutting your hair. So you can become your garden hairdresser after this. And the nice thing about actually cutting topiaries is that you get nice focal points in your garden and you can also revive shrubs and things that haven't been looking so good in order for them to then make focal points in your garden. Now a topiary against an informal garden in places really makes a good show. I'm going to get back to these shears now. So you can see I'm cutting away all the extra bits and pieces. And I'm working from the bottom up and then also from the top to the bottom at an angle. There we go. That bit out there. Bring it down here at the bottom. Take all of that out. Turn over here. And I'm going to go slightly to the top. You also get some really nice mechanical small head shears that you can charge and those are really magnificent to use if you've got quite a bit of topiary in your garden. You can see it's starting to take shape here. Just turn this around. It's quite high. If you've got a very big one, you might need a ladder as well to reach. Right. This. Well, as you can see, we've now got our basic shapes right here. We've got our square here and we've got the round ball here. Unfortunately, because these were old shrubs, we've got quite a bit of empty woodiness at the moment. So we are going to feed our plants and that should stimulate quick growth inside the plant. So that's topiary for you. Quick and easy and you can make a good focal point in your garden with some old shrubs and things that you've got around. That's me for now. I'm Sue, I'm your garden guru from Garden Shop. And you can contact us on suebb at gardenshop.co.za or follow all our workshops on our Facebook page, Garden Guru tab under gardenshop.co.za. Thank you very much.